shows through my TV shows whatever it takes because this was a situation where um, Dale and Sierra I'm sure you've heard of them um, Dale Maddox and um, Chris Sandra Sierra Kimball these two were walking to the store and um, actually my son Todd Wooten was supposed to go with them in College Park right here in College Park and they were on their way to the store and they never made it back. And um, it's been really hard on our community. You know, we all want to ask the question why this should not have been, this should not have to have happened. And then both my son and myself dealt with guilt, feeling guilty that Todd did not go to the store with them and that he was still alive. And that was a little hard on us, but we got over ourselves because we're here for the families of Dale and Sierra uh, because this is a tremendous loss for them and we're feeling the loss uh, greatly and every time April rolls around you know I'm glad that Dale uh, I'm glad that the families just take the time to hold a vigil we usually will meet at McNair Middle School because that's where um, my son Todd found their bodies behind McNair Bethune um, schools and so the families have had enough foresight to hold a vigil each year in remembrance of Dale and Sierra. We love them, we miss them terribly and um, as you can see, you can see the pictures my son still has hanging up in his room. Um, I think it's his way of um, continuing to deal with this tragedy and keeping their memories alive. As you all can see, my son, as I indicated earlier, my son was supposed to go with Dale and Sierra to the store that day. Dale and Todd had been at the house playing ball and Dale wanted to go to the store and um, Todd didn't feel like going. And, uh, you know, my son, this will always be with him. I think sometimes he felt guilty that he lived and that he didn't go. But as you can see, these beautiful pictures of Dale and his family, I'm in my son's room. My son 
has Dale and Sierra's pictures up on the wall as a constant reminder to him that God spared his life. So I just wanted you all, the viewing audience and the community, as well as Dale and Sierra's beautiful family, I just want you all to know that this constantly stays with us. It constantly stays with us. We're forever linked to you all through this tragedy. Todd was the one that found their bodies and that's been real hard for him as well. And so he keeps their memory alive by keeping their pictures. This is his room. I won't film the rest of the room. <laughs> Y'all know a boy's room. Actually looks pretty good today. But um, he keeps these pictures right up as a constant reminder of his friends that are no longer with us in person, but they are definitely with us in spirit, and we love them. So I got that right up under his picture. So I just wanted you all to know that um, our hearts are still heavy about this um, tragedy. Needless to say, how you all are still feeling. But just know that we love you all. And that's why I'm doing this piece. This is my part. As you all know, um, I covered this story on my radio shows. And now I'm putting this on television. Because I want the community to keep in their hearts that our teens are gone from us. And that it was senseless. They did not have to be taken from us.
Thank you.